everyone welcome to another um berry video my favorite um we are back in rita's um um book um the world under the microscope on land i think is roughly what it means and um there are videos for these three already but um i did ask when i was doing this one whether people wanted more and uh the answer was yes so i thought i would have another go and indulge my uh, self in my favourite thing to colour and uh, share a video. You see, the reason I was asking was because I really like colouring berries and I don't know if you just get bored of seeing me colour so many. So, right, these. Now, my husband said these look like a certain type of berry that are orange. Mm, trying to remember what he said. I can't remember the name. But I want to colour them like elderberries because I quite like, I like the idea of doing them that colour. Now I grabbed my Artezas. Now we did this um the blackberries in the Arteza um premium, but I've grabbed my Arteza Expert because we've got a few more colours to pick from in there. And uh, so I hope that's okay with people. We're sort of chopping and changing. Some of the others are done in a different brand of pencil anyway. Now an elderberry looks quite black, but there's an element of red in it as well. So what I'm going to do is start with a very dark red and then use some black as well. So I'm actually going to start with the passion fruit red and it isn't going to look very elderberry like and then we'll move to um, other colours. So this is just going to be a light base. We did a similar thing with our um, blackberries and did a pink behind and uh, I'm hoping it will work in the same way. Now they can actually be quite purpley red, so I might use a few other colours too. I had a lovely walk this morning, I had to pop to town on my way back. I went. I was in town really early, the shop I went to opened at half eight, so on my way back um, I was walking along the canal path. Now we'd had a heavy frost, everything was white and pretty, and the canal had a mist over it. And uh, it was rolling and snaking its way along the surface of the water and it the sun was out it was very hard to tell whether what I could see was actually mist or whether it was the reflection of the mist in the water I took a moment to imagine how it might be to try and color slash draw that sort of effect and uh, didn't worry too much about that because <laughs> too difficult but it was so so pretty really lovely so that was really nice so i was really enjoying that although the sun was in my eyes i could barely see but <laughs> it's a problem at this time of year when the sun's out is so low right so there is our first layer it's quite pale which is what i want i'm going to transition to a slightly darker color which is the garnet red um i'm just going to give it a sharpen it's a little bit um oh excuse me i'm blunt and for this one, I'm going to leave um, some of it uncoloured, so I'll show you. I'm going to go around. I'm going to ignore these dots. We're going to do those at the end. Um, sometimes I wonder if they're supposed to be a bit of shine, like, you know, left white. But I'm never quite sure um, whether that's the case or whether it's supposed to be like the little black dot on a, on a berry that might be where the flower was. But uh, I tend to um, decide at the end, really, what to do with it. So I'm basically going around the edge with this one. It's still not looking much like an elderberry. Don't worry. It will come. It's just building up those colours a little bit. It makes it more fun, I think, as well. So you can just do one colour you know um but i like to mix it up a little bit i think you get more depth of color somehow it looks a little bit um, i don't know really how to describe it but i think you can see the colors through and i think it makes a difference to how the final thing looks so uh, yeah it's quite cold my husband's working from home today again and he's uh, he was complaining about how cold he was and um, the thing is he's wearing the amount of clothes he does in the office and the office is really hot I think um, I, I don't have the heating on all day so it, he went to have a look at the heating he said it's 
he was surprised. He's like, it's only on seven degrees. I was like, yes, because it's gone off for a bit. It doesn't stay on all day. Um, I turn it on and off. If I want, if I'm cold, I pop it back on. But I'm not. I haven't even put my wrist warmers on yet. But he's put the heating back on, so I won't need to. But to uh, my feet, it's very strange. My feet are warm. It never happens. So I don't know what's going on there. It might be because I've been for a walk. And uh, that's going to help. I also hurt my foot. It's uh, well, my shoe. I put. I I went out as soon as I started walking. I could feel my boot rubbing on my heel. I was like, oh, and um, I didn't want to turn back or anything. And I did. It's too cold to stop and put a plaster on or anything like that. I could feel it. So, uh, and then I could feel the sort of wetness, and I was like, oh, it's cut the skin. Ugh. So obviously there was a blister that went, and it was bleeding. As I, like, I could feel it. So I just rammed my toes into the front of my boot. They're really big. I think this is part of the problem. And uh, it felt much better then. And it was fine. It wasn't rubbing. So <laughs> that was okay. I got home and my socks were in a bit of a state. But what happened was my sock had a hole in. So my foot was just bare against the boot. So that's what the problem was. So I came home. had to clean, <laughs> clean up my foot. It was fine. I'm really used to this sort of thing happening. Now I'm trying to decide whether to go to an eggplant purple or whether to go straight to black. I think I'm going to go for the purple first. Oh, I think it might just be a nice idea. So anyway, yes, it was actually a really small cut and it's fine. But I, I, when I got home, I after putting a plaster on, I uh, before I put my slippers on, I put on a really thick pair of nice cosy socks. I thought I'd treat my feet, having abused them. <laughs> and so that's probably um, part of the reason why they're so nice and warm, which is good. So that's nice. But yes, I'm so used to it. These boots, I think, it was. I've been wearing my wellies a bit because of the ice and snow. I didn't today. And I think it might be them that have been upsetting my feet a little bit and then to put a sock on which has got a hole in the back I didn't notice I don't normally just keep holy socks I just didn't notice um was probably like the final straw really so I'm doing the same thing with this one I'm actually going over the whole berry a little bit but trying to make it darker on the outside a little bit lighter in the middle maybe not totally into the middle with it and if these end up not looking like um, elderberries. I don't think it really matters. So uh, just go around them all. It's really meditative I find. It's good fun. So uh, yeah it was, uh, it was a nice early walk. It was quite cold out there I have to say. Even though the sun was shining, <laughs> the heavy frost had been quite cold. But we've still got bits of snow around here a little bit. It hasn't all melted yet. It hasn't got warm enough in the day for it to melt. So uh, it's uh, yeah, a bit cold. And I went into the supermarket on my way back to get a few groceries. And the poor lady, I went to the till nearest to the door. And the poor lady was saying, it's going to get much colder later in the day. She said it gets colder through the day, which is quite interesting. I guess she probably gets colder. She probably sort of starts off warm, you know, before she sort of gets to that counter and probably gets cold. I'm just going to have to blow my nose and then we'll get some black in here. You could leave them like that if you want them to be red. Um, they look quite pretty, don't they? But my idea was to try and make them look a bit more like elderberries, so I'm going to go in with the black and uh, darken them. Now, again, be careful because it's black. It's much more vibrant than I had expected. <sighs> I should use my brush. Trying to only get a really dark layer around the edge and then a bit less as we go towards the middle. You can see the other colours shining through, which is what I wanted. I 
think it's a little bit more red than an old berry might be. But anyway, that's okay. Now with an elderberry, the um, the stems are also quite red. So we're going to do that. We're going to sort of mix a bit of red and green to make the stems. It'll just give it a little bit of interest as well. Not just all green, because all of our others are all green. So just change the colour a little bit. So that's good. I can't believe I'm already recording videos for February. It's still January. I'm getting a little bit ahead, which is nice. I didn't want to wait anyway. I look forward to doing this one. Um, but uh, it's nice to be a bit ahead for you. But I have still got my completed pages to record because we're only on, I think it's the 23rd. I'll just get my calendar. It's the 24th. So uh, I'm a little bit, um, it's 24th of Jan. So uh, I've got to do my completed pages video, which will go out on the 29th. But I've got a few more pictures to do first. So uh, I am. Um, I don't want to record it too early, but I like to do it a few days in advance of the day it's going out, just so I get time to edit it and things, just in case the editing doesn't work or something silly. But uh, I've never had that happen. But you know, I'm risk averse. I like everything to be. Uh, ready when in time and it's going to go out on the 29th because the 30th is a Monday it's planner I've recorded that planner video already it's a two-parter for the 30th and 31st so the, the um, completed pages I thought would go out earlier rather than I could put it out on the first I suppose but I usually put it on at, out at the end of the month so I thought I would do that Right, let's see where we're at. Nearly at the last one. Hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? I think they look quite shiny, which was the idea. So I think that's okay. Right, the stems, I'm going to do them in this um, garnet red. Okay. And it's just the stems leading to the berries, not the ones leading to the leaves, I think. And uh, I may not do any green with them. I think it might just work just with the red. We'll see when it's done. Now, often with a stem, I like to make a little darker bit either side so that it looks a little bit more rounded, but these are quite thin. I'm not sure that I would be able to do that. And this is, I don't really have a darker colour apart from black of this sort of shade. So I don't, unless I used a brown. Oops, out of the line she goes. Let's have a think once we're done. Give it a sharpen and I'll just give it a go and it might not show up. So I'm thinking, try to just make it a little bit darker on the edges. So rather than try and find another colour, just layer it up a bit. a little bit better I think there we go and the leaves I can't remember now whether they're dark or light but I think a darker leaf would probably work better I'm going to use this really dark jade green to start with and I'm going to put a really light layer see that is a continuation of that 
isn't it? So I think that actually needs to be red. So I'm going back to my garnet red, just for this bit. Isn't going to look odd if the stems... I think these need to be red. Because they're going to look a bit odd. I might put some green over them as well. I have a think. Mm, there we go. Now we have our jade green. Now, I don't want it to be really, really dark. So I'm going to put a heavyish layer there. And then fade it a bit towards the edge and the outside of the leaf. And the same on all of them, either side of that sort of vein, stem, whatever you might want to call it. I'm sort of ignoring the other lines though. Not sure why. <laughs> there we go. So I hope everyone's okay. And... Uh, enjoying the, themselves, doing maybe colouring something while you're watching. I always hope to think that you might be doing a little something um, while you're watching. And although I know some people watch in bed, which is fun. I don't watch videos in bed very much. It's because of the sound. I do have some headphones by the bed actually, I could use those. Because I don't like to make be noisy when I'm in bed, everyone else being asleep. But... Uh, I uh, I tend to play um, Candy Crush when I'm in bed, <laughs> and and look at Instagram. But uh, I know it's supposed to be really happy and healthy to have a phone by the bed and use it just before sleep. Apparently, it stops you getting a good quality sleep. So I don't know if my children have screens just before bed, but I have them myself. It's a bit of a, a bit naughty, aren't I? I'm trying to look for a slightly lighter green just to do the edges of these leaves. I quite like the look of, hmm, yeah, a really pale one. I'm thinking might work. If it doesn't, we can go over it. So I'm looking at this um, absinthe green. I'm thinking it might just make them look a little bit more vibrant because I think they're looking a little bit dull. Hopefully we can sort of mix it up with the other green. I don't know, it's looking a bit neon, isn't it? Certainly vibrant. I think it'll be okay. I was just checking then, my lamp hasn't, whether, whether my lamp was on. <laughs> I think I just realised that I took a photo on my phone and then um, I just um, deleted all the files off it. Whoops, <laughs> I have to take it again. It was nothing that can't be get taken again, it was just a picture of a colouring page so it's not going anywhere but I was having great fun this morning on hold on the phone for ages trying to sort out the um our new um, oven in our new kitchen the um light bulb has gone already and it's quite handy having a little bulb in there a light in there I mean I was not used to it because my old oven they had gone but um I was phoning up to sort of find out what the what I needed to get really and um I mean, it's not covered under the warranty, because, even though it's only less than six months old because they don't cover accessories. But the person, customer services, were very helpful and said um, that if it goes again really quickly to let them know and they'll send someone out to check the wiring to make sure that it's not a problem with that. Right, before I finish here, I'm just going to get my black again and add a little bit of shadow markings I'm thinking just where some of the things overlap whoops like under here I don't know how well it will show up as we've already got quite a bit of black but I just want to emphasize some of the areas so it looks slightly more um, 3d so that we can see the difference between these berries rather than them being one big clump that we can actually make out. I'm having to turn my head, the light is shining off. I've got so many layers of pencil that I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. Getting my head at the right angle. 
problem with having a bright lamp. But uh, my other lamp is supposed to be ready. Hurrah! Apparently. But they haven't uh, sent me a notice of when it's being delivered. So. Yeah, I think that's helped a little bit. It may be too subtle really to see. But there we are. There are our elderberries. They might not be that like elderberries, but I like them. I think they're fun. So I am going to end... Oh, no I'm not. I'm thinking about these little circles. Should I do them in black? Yeah, I'm going to do those in black. And we need to... But I think we'd. I want to put some white shine on them too. So uh, I haven't quite finished. Sorry. I hope no one switched off and thought I was done. Missed a bit. My son does that on his lives. I can always hear him saying, "Oh, right, I'm going to go now." And then he doesn't actually go for 10 minutes or so. He's talking still. Right, I'm going to use my Posca. Just my white Posca. And I'm going to, now with shine, follow the direction of the edge of the item that you'll want to look shiny. Keep it consistent between all the items so the shine is on the same side. So anything that has that side obscured you won't see shine on it. I'm going to come in this direction. Just put a little bit on those. There we go. So they look ultra shiny now, don't they? So that's fun. So now I am definitely done. So thank you for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe and like and maybe even comment. Um, thank you very much and happy colouring.